guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just a very small charity shop haul. We've been going quite a lot recently and there's just like not been a lot but the great news is car boot season is back. The car boots have started which means I'm going to be coming at you with a lot of car boot hauls. I honestly can't wait. The one that's really close to us is back as well and the one that's like a half hour drive that one's back on a Sunday so I'm hyped. But today I'm just going to be showing you a, a lot of makeup that I've been getting and some like two other bits. It's like a very, a very small haul. So the first thing I've already briefly shown you in my last video, but it's this mirror. So this is just a light up mirror. Hey look, you can see my setup. <laughs> but um, yeah, it just lights up. And we actually saw these in B&M the other day for over £10 and I only paid, well, Bobby only paid a pound for it, which I think is really good. For this video, I am going to have on the screen somewhere what I paid and how much they're worth. Obviously, I haven't looked it up yet, so I can't tell you, but I'm going to have it on the screen somewhere. So we're going to start with the makeup and then we'll finish off with the other product that I have. So all of these came from the same charity shop and there's such bargains. Now you guys know I am a cruelty free influencer, I only use cruelty free makeup. So any makeup that I do buy that isn't cruelty free isn't gonna be used by me, it's gonna be used by my family, friends, and if it's like brand new stuff, then I'm putting it aside for like giveaways and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before some of you yell at me for my non cruelty free purchases. So the first thing we found was this MAC lip liner. So, that's what it looks like. There's about half the pencil left, or just over, and this is in the shade Strip Down. So, that was the first thing, lip liner. And then, after we found that one, we found this one. So, it's a, ooh, another MAC lip pencil. This is in the shade HodgePodge. And there's, like, pretty much a full pencil here. Like, I don't think that that's actually been sharpened before. So we got two MAC lip liners, that was great. And then we also got a, another lip liner, I believe. So yeah, this is from The Body Shop. And this is in the shade Beach. So all of these are like quite nude lip liners. Then we got two products that I was like, huh? in the UK. So these are from Sephora, which is like an American brand, and they are waterproof jumbo crayons. So they're like liner, shadow. I really, really like this colour. And then the other one we got is a bit smaller, and the cap is broken. Can you see that crack? And it's a lot smaller. The colour as well is really good. I will swatch all of these in a sec. And then we got a product that I would have been like really happy to get this cheap because as you guys know I really liked the Benefit Bad Gal range. So this is the, uh, ooh, there's a hair on it. So this was 50p, this one actually was 50p and it's a bit grubby but with a bit of a clean up it'll be alright. And then... I have two powder products. So this is a Scary Minerals Costume Makeup Face and Body Powder. It's 100% natural and it's in the shade grey. So it's like an SFX grey powder. Pretty cool. It's like perfectly full. Although I haven't been able to find the brand that actually make this. I did type up Scary Minerals. And then it also says on here, My Beautiful Earth. So... I have no idea. And then the last makeup item I got was this Gentle Light Powder in Glow 3 from Clinique. It is like pretty much a full pot of this. Now all of these items, apart from the Bad Gal, which was 50p, these all kind of got like compiled together and I only ended up paying like £1.20 for all of these. So we had the three lip liners and the two eyeliner things for £1.20, which is crazy. So this is MAC HodgePodge, just to like show you the colours. And then this is Strip Down. They're all like fairly similar shades. And then we've got the Body Shop one in Beach. 
if it will um I don't know how old the products are this is the problem with buying charity shop stuff can you see that they're all like very similar and then we'll swatch these because I really like these this is this green one I really like my bony hands can you see that like it's kind of got like a metallic shine to it and then we'll swatch the blue one does this have a shade name it's just called green and this one's called turquoise hello it's not it feels hard i think this is like it gone off i just crushed it up a bit to try and like release some of the color no it, it's actually just scratching my hand okay so this was a bummer we're not gonna worry about that but the last item that i got i was like i saw it on the like some of the charity shops have like these models and they're just like standing in the windows with different outfits on and as soon as i walked in i saw this and i was like i need that that outfit looks really good with that bag so it's just a little circle bag with this chain but this chain is like so cool so here you've got like a really thick chain and then for the rest of it you've got this really like other chain and then you've got this big circle thing as well so this is originally from asos and i'm not sure how much it costs as i said i'll pop it up on the screen but for this i paid two pound fifty so i'm hoping i grab myself a bargain but i do like it just in general i think it's going to be a nice bag to wear when i go out to like weddings and stuff because i never have like an actual little bag to take with me but um that was it for my mini haul as i said i didn't really get a lot but the makeup items that i got i'm really happy with obviously some of these i cannot use apparently i can use this i'm not sure and i can obviously use the body shop as well but i think lately to have this much good makeup in one shop i'm gonna have to keep an eye on that shop you know i'm gonna have to see who's donating their stuff there because when I was looking through, there was also some Wet n Wild products, but I believe they were a bit dried out as well, so I left those. There was some Juicy Couture, there was Bourgeois, Makeup Revolution, there was like loads of stuff in this box. But um, I'm going to go back, I'm going to see what they have next time, and hopefully the next charity shop haul will have some more stuff in it, because I feel like we're missing a lot of clothes, we're missing some other cool shit, so... Next one is going to be a good one, guys. But don't forget to give the thumb, give the, the thumbs up. Give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what you want to see me try and find in some charity shops. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.